We are calling it Leap of Faith, and I'm so, 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 so grateful for the opportunity. I have Diesel down low. He is a father, um, a significant other, a scholar, an accomplished actor. So I just want to thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to do this interview with me today. It's my joy. It's my pleasure. All right. So let's get into it. Um, what was your childhood like, and what was it like growing up for you? Uh, growing up for me was uh, different. You know, I, I was the only boy in a uh, mm -hmm. parent home, my mom. Uh, I have other siblings. I have two sisters. Uh, mm -hmm. Dad has other kids. I have other siblings as well. They're all my siblings. But, uh, I have actually eight brothers and sisters mm -hmm. all together. But I grew up with my mom. And my sisters. I was the youngest one. And uh, grew up in the inner city of Youngstown, Ohio. I was on the south side of Youngstown. Pretty rough. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it was just, it was just one of those times where, you know, you just never know what happened, or, mm -hmm. you know, like in the neighborhood. So you've been in, you know, you lived in you lived at Jersey, right? So yeah. you know, how it is to be, it's like Patterson. Mm -hmm. but, but, to like be living in Patterson, Patterson, right. kind of rough, you know, so right. I grew up in a similar area to that, you know, but in mm -hmm. Ohio. So, uh, but it was pretty good. You know, my mom, you know, a lot, you know, so I was playing basketball all the time, so. Yeah, I saw that um, when we had our first interview. I was like, I was going through your page. I was doing my research on you. And I was like, oh, my God, what has this man not done? He is like the jack of all trades. That's crazy. <laughs> um, so yeah. one of the things that I was super impressed with, and I was like, wow, um, because, you know, I'm in school right now. I'm in school. I'm studying biomedical sciences and um, higher education. That's That's a big choice. So what made you pursue a higher education and what made – you go and pursue that higher education abroad? Uh, first off, uh, I wouldn't have made it without all the teachers that helped me. I mm -hmm. would say that and gratitude to them uh, yeah. because I was fake to, <laughs> to them growing up. But, uh, yeah. you know, a lot of, a lot of people uh, doubted my skills. You know, I had speech problems growing up. So, really? Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah. Wow. I couldn't really, you know, at a certain age, it took me a while to talk. Yeah. And, you know, uh, it's funny that how God makes you you know, do the opposite now. That's all right. I do. Talk yeah. to people. Yeah. And, and I have other languages as well. So, uh, mm -hmm. but it's just crazy how it all worked out, you know, but uh, back to the education, uh, whatever mm -hmm. strive me to be great, I always wanted to learn, you know, always curiosity and being a kid and being a child, always wanted to learn. Right. Always wanted to be, always wanted mm -hmm. to be, you know, achieve more. A lot of people mm -hmm. that I could do it, you know, so that kind of fueled it, like extrinsic motivation. You know, when people mm -hmm. say you can't, you know, even though I'm always in uh people just always wanted to throw like uh throw like you know you know throw ketchup on the hot dog. I wanted to add more to it. You know, yeah. So I always had to get I always had to be used to it, like, you know, used to that and uh people always doubt me, so I always wanted to prove them wrong but and mm -hmm. ultimately prove myself that I'm just worthy of it, uh yeah as they are. Or yeah. the next person. So Yeah. That's dope. So, okay, so what do you have for the people who don't know? What did you pursue as far as higher education? Uh, my undergraduate, I'm college and mm -hmm. uh, studied uh, business management, mm -hmm. a minor in entrepreneurship, and then I got a, a master's degree in science mm -hmm. from uh, the University of California, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a small, great school. And uh, actually, I'm going back for my doctorate. So, oh! Uh, yeah. I didn't yeah. know you were going to pursue that. That's awesome. I have to. I got to finish, you know. Like, yeah. I, believe, I believe in education. I believe in uh -huh. knowledge. And this, ain't, this is not the only way you can receive, like, knowledge and inspiration. Yeah. But it's, I think it's important for kids and people to strive for whatever you want to strive for and yeah. achieve what you want to achieve. So I studied yeah. abroad. Really. It was just more like uh, international, mm -hmm. like learning international uh, business and opportunities and uh, connection and networking events and stuff like that. So when I studied yeah. abroad, it was very uh, educational, and you know, I got friends yeah. all over the world because of that. Yeah. So speaking of which, what made you want to study abroad? Like, why did you choose? And then, out of all places, why did you choose Chile? Uh, I chose uh, Chile because uh, I was just thinking, like, in the future, uh, thinking ahead. You know, I was like, hey, yeah. I go study abroad. I have a chance to. Uh, connect with different people outside of the world, hopefully mm -hmm. collaborate with them and build relationships. Plus, I wanted to go to South America. I love South America. I feel like mm -hmm. I'm 
that area for some reason. I don't know. I just connect with them so well. Like, yeah. I connect with people in Brazil and yeah. Chile, uh, Chile and, you know, some other countries down there. But I always wanted to be uh, international, and that was my goal, like be yeah. able to inspire people internationally. So when I went to Chile, I just wanted to – I was thinking ahead, thinking of the next move, and what, why would I want to learn if it was in, included in education? Why wouldn't you want to go study right. abroad that everybody should – or could study abroad if they want to? Right. Now, with that being said, you mentioned, you know, I always wanted to. So what was your dream growing up? Uh, one of my dreams was to be an NBA, mm -hmm. uh, but it wasn't a burning desire. So I think that was why, like, I didn't, like, that was one of my lessons I learned early on. Mm -hmm. that I thought I always have a bigger plan, bigger purpose for you, but I always wanted to be an NBA first of all. But it always wanted to be an entrepreneur, which I am. You know, so right. I was uh, I was inspired by being an MBA, but uh, that was one of my goals. But that didn't work out. But uh, being an entrepreneur worked. It did. I did. I saw um, your business page. You have merch, and you also um, have a couple of brands that you sponsor. What are those brands that you sponsor as well for uh, your ambassadorships? Uh, I I, uh, I collaborate with uh, who would I collaborate with? Uh, this girl uh, named Lexi. That mm -hmm. was one. Uh, mm -hmm. she's, uh, she does hair and makeup, someone I met her, and someone that I used to personal train back in the day. Awesome. Yeah. Her mom was my, one of my first clients, so I try to help her. She's a lot younger mm -hmm. than me and showed her some games, showed her, you know, how you can inspire people through different ways. Uh, mm -hmm. My cousin, Mud, he's a rapper, mm -hmm. uh, pretty successful. He came out of jail, prison, shouldn't have been in prison that long. Uh, mm -hmm. but he was there for a few, like four years and, you know, he's rapping, hiring people for that. I wanted to help him. Uh, mm -hmm. um, a kid named, uh, Danny Prestige. He's a uh, TikTok. Uh, the girl Missy, she's from LA. Mm -hmm. Um, I got other sponsors too, other people I helped yeah. out. And, but I always wanted, I just wanted to get my, I wanted to like give them a platform to sell their stuff. Like they can sell their stuff for it. But I wanted to right. make sure like, I can get their product out there so they can inspire different people. And yeah. Other people. So I love collaborating with people, especially yeah. especially people that want it, you know, like want to do it. I love to collaborate. I had other ones that went off and did their own thing. And, you know, mm -hmm. I, you know I send them my blessings. Never yeah. asked for a dollar after that. You know, we collaborate, collaborated mm -hmm. and then they did their own thing. And I'm thankful for them because they allowed me to grow. So yeah. I'm thankful for them. That's awesome. Okay. So I know I named this segment um, Leap of Faith. Um, I love that you are a very faith-driven person. Um, so how does faith tie into your life? How did it tie into where you are right now as an actor? Right. I always have faith. You know, like God was always the, the person in my life. You know? God's not like one of those, a, a person, spirit. Mm -hmm. You know, God's involved in my life. He's like,